Excellency President Manuel Pinto da Costa to South Africa for this historic state visit. The relationship between South Africa and Sao Tome and Principe is born out of our mutual struggles for freedom and liberation in our respective countries. As excellent as the relations between our respective countries are, I believe that we still have the duty to explore ways and means of further expanding our ties for the benefit of our two countries and peoples. In our bilateral talks, we agreed to take further our joint cooperation in the fields of energy, water, and health, and other areas. Mr. President, the South African government fully supports investments <coughs> by South African companies in the continent and fully encourage our companies to explore opportunities in your country, Mr. President. We support the kind of investments which seek to contribute to the sustainable development of the region and the continent as a whole. Mr. President, we meet during a difficult situation in the world, generally regarding development in the Syrian Arab Republic. South Africa is alarmed at the latest escalation in the conflict in Syria following the chemical weapons attack in the district of Gouta in eastern Damascus on the 21st of August 2013. The use of these weapons in Syria is of serious concern and is wholly unacceptable by any standard, no cause could ever justify the use of weapons of mass destruction. We are concerned by the rhetoric pointing to the possibility of a military intervention. <clears throat> South Africa does not believe that bombing the already suffering people and crumbling infrastructure of Syria will contribute to a sustainable solution. Furthermore, only the United Nations Security Council can mandate the use of military force in conflict situations, only if other measures are deemed insufficient in bringing about a peaceful solution. The UN Security Council cannot and must not be used to authorize military intervention aimed at regime change. A regime change agenda through outside military intervention undermines any hope of sustainable, all-inclusive political solution. Military intervention will serve no other purpose than hurting the possibility of a speedy diplomatic solution to the conflict. We encourage all parties involved in the current conflict in Syria to engage in a process of all-inclusive national dialogue, free of any form of violence, intimidation, or outside interference aimed at regime change in order to satisfy the legitimate democratic aspirations of the Syrian people. Closer to home, we are all aware of the conflict 
in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where South Africa has deployed troops in fulfillment of our international obligations towards the United Nations. Three of our soldiers have been injured in the conflict since the weekend, largely from shrapnel wounds. None have been seriously wounded. Our soldiers are well trained and are ready for their responsibilities towards building a better and more peaceful Africa. Uh, our meeting here uh, clearly demonstrated the role and the capacity that South Africa has, I mean, to take our cooperation forward so that it does not only rely on the independent paper, but that it is expressed through action and